It's that time again where I bring out a bad game and tell you something interesting about it. Today's victim, Cubix, Robots for Everyone Showdown. This is the third game in the series, and this was released on the PS2 and the uh, and the GameCube, obviously. So this game is a fifteen to twenty dollar game. Not a big deal if you want it. It's based off an animated series that didn't even run very long. It was like 26 episodes, started in 2001. So why do we care about this game? What's interesting about it? It's not this copy. It's this one right here with this little variant, this free DVD sticker. This variant is found on both the PS2 and the GameCube version. And it's just this. It comes with this pack-in right here. On the PS2 version, it's sealed in the front. I'm unsure on the GameCube because I've yet to see a sealed one. Uh, this is DVD of the first episode, if you care. But this has people asking, $500, $700? I've seen the DVD sell for $200 by itself. Be very careful about buying this unless you really want to go in the weeds on this. Especially when this did come out on the PS2, which definitely had a much higher print run. So... This, you'll notice this Blockbuster sticker. A lot of people say it's a Blockbuster exclusive. I've seen it with and without this, with the DVD variant, on the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube. So take that as you will. I don't think we know a whole lot. Another interesting thing about it, this right here is actually a sticker. But it's not a sticker on the case itself. It's a sticker on the inner art. So does that make it the first print or a later print? I'm unsure, but it's uncommon for them to stick the sticker directly on the inner art. Anyways, go check out Cubix. That's the interesting thing about this. Terrible game made by 3DL.